<laughs> the way San is just going, he's trying to get away from Hong Jun. <laughs> you know what Han looks like? The, you know what Han looks like in this? Han looks like that character in like a K-drama whose like dad is rich. You know what I mean? And he comes to school and he, he starts shit and then he, he becomes like the main antagonist even though he started as a kind of good character. Like that's the vibes I'm getting from him here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's from, that's from Skun's family. Remember they were married and then Han was cheating on Hyunjin with Lino and then there was some other shit happening and it was just a whole, it was a whole thing. What's going on guys? It's your boy Trolltech here for another video. So today we're going to be uh, doing a Jong Ho compilation. Um, the video is Jong Ho versus Young versus his Youngs, the ultimate sibling energy. That's the video. Um, it'll be in the description box as well. So if you've watched my AT stuff, you know like Jong Ho is low key my favorite personality wise um, because he's just so he's just so like chill and just he's just vibing and. He, he he doesn't like when people like touch him and he's dangerous looking and he's scary but he's the mark knight like i don't know he, there's something about jong ho that i just like i like this guy um i like him all but jong ho's i got a special i got a special connection with him especially in the in one t's episode four which i reacted to on patreon he was just so calm and chill and just like not scared at all he's like the most fearless k-pop person i've seen um but yeah i'm excited to get into this because based on what i've seen this man does not like like skinship and being hugged and stuff like that he just he fights that as much as he possibly can so i feel like this is going to be funny because a lot of 80s especially Wu young is very like you know they like hugging and touching and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a very funny kind of um, video because it's he's such an anti anti to that kind of behavior. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to enjoy this, I think. So let's get into this. Without further ado, Jong Ho versus his Hyung's the ultimate sibling energy. Here we go. <laughs> oh now, nah, we Young just do can't help himself. He can't help himself. Like the slightest chance where he can fuck with someone, he will look. Look as soon as he walked in. As soon as he walked in. Oh my god! Look at his face. Oh my god! Like as soon as he walked in, the smile lit it. Like I like Wu Young. Don't get me wrong, but he's such an annoying little shit at the same time, which is what I like about him. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, no, Jongo was about to knock him flat. Just <laughs> you could see in his face, he wanted to just absolute beat his ass right there. Oh, Jongo's like, no, you didn't see anything. Nothing happened here. Just keep, just keep walking. What's happening here? What is happening right now? Oh, okay, it's just the intro. Wu Young. Wait, 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 wait. What's. Wu Young and Jong Ho bickering. To be fair, though, Wu Young can get on the nerves of any of these guys, to be honest. To be fair, like, actually, Song Wa can handle him a bit. He He's because he's so calm. But Wu Young's got. Wu Young's the type of guy that he's just pro at annoying people the, re the reason i know that is because i'm exactly the same it's just you feel joy when people get annoyed that's that's the way he is so oh, like it's not special that he's annoying jong ho the, the most like i don't i would say he's the most short-tempered of them but in a quiet way <laughs> jong ho looks good with red hair though <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. 
<laughs> he wasn't even looking at you, William. He didn't. He wasn't even looking at you. <laughs> oh, he did look at the answer. He did cheat though, but he didn't cheat off you, William. Why would he cheat off you when the answer's right there anyway? <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh yeah, you are. Though even I sometimes, I'm like, I know he's the the youngest, and I'm just like, is he the youngest? Yeah, he is. He is the youngest because like he behaves like the oldest. So. Meanwhile, I think it's his personality. He's very like mature. Ooh. 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 <laughs> my son's standing at staring at no my son's staring at him like he wants to absolutely murder him please look at his face why are you looking at him at like that bro he's just vocalizing that's his job <laughs> jong ho once if jong ho didn't think oh he's my captain and he's older than me he would have fucking bolted over that table right now i'm telling you look at his face that's the face you make where you're trying to control your temper it's all jokes obviously he wouldn't actually attack them but i'm just saying <laughs> oh no, the editor did him bad, bro. <laughs> I like how he kissed. Who was it? Is that who is that? Is that, I can't tell who that is. It's so blurry. Is it Wu Young? No, it's not. I don't know who that is. I can't see who that is. But I like how he kissed whoever that is because it's so blurry. And then he's the one that's cringing about it. No, but that's that's a mood because you know you you there's like moments where you feel like being affectionate as someone that's not affectionate at all, and then you do it and you're just like, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> to his face, he's... he's not, he does not enjoy that. He need to get those punches out to regain his composure. <laughs> Hong Jun just went straight for it. Yeah, I want to hear you sing. Don't worry about saying, hang up. Because they all simps for him. That's a long running theme. I feel like in every group, everyone's a simp for the maknae. You know? Maknae. 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 I keep saying maknae. That's not how you say it. Maknae. Right? Everyone's a simp for the maknae. Uh, Jungkook, everyone in BTS is a simp for that, man. Um, especially with the Suchita episode with uh, Yungi. That man is obsessed with Jungkook. Um, Ayan. That's, you know, self-explanatory. Everyone in Stray Kids is obsessed. And now Jong Ho as well. Oh, that's that Lino core. <laughs> Jong Ho learned that from Lino, bro. We're so cuddly and fuzzy. Yeah. 
저도 그건 좀 민감해서. 아, 좋아요. 아, 네. 네. 저도 좀 찍어주세요. 아, 네. 알겠습니다. Is that one of those old, like, old shitty cameras from like the mid 2000s? <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that fit, though, to be honest. Leave Songwa alone, we are. This man does not let my boy breathe. Like, it's not even the compilation's not even about them. Like, it's not even about Songwa being assaulted by Wu Young, but even in this compilation, he's still doing some shit to my boy. Meanwhile, <laughs> like, <laughs> Songwa be struggling when he's seated next to Wu Young. <laughs> He's like, really, bitch? You think I'm going to give you my food? Nah, me and Jong Ho are spirit brothers, bro, right now. Because every, the way he responds to things is exactly the way I respond to certain things. <laughs> Not Mingy pouting, pouting. And you know, another thing, like, Jong Ho is the first Makne where I feel like I'm connected to him. Because all the other maknes that we've seen, they're kind of cute, you know, adorable, you know, vibes, they're affectionate sometimes. Ian's not that affectionate, but like, he is, but he's not, you know what I mean? But, um, so I, I could never connect with them because they're the youngest and I'm the youngest. I'm the makne of my family, but like, I don't behave in that way. Jong Ho is finally a makne, which I'm connecting with. And I think, honestly, I think he's going to become my bias in in 80s that's how i feel right now um because he's the youngest but he feel he looks like he's the oldest and he behaves in the oldest and i get that a lot as well like i remember like sometimes we'll go out my sister and my brother and people like think i'm older or i'm older than you know i'm the oldest because of the way i look first of all because i'm like way taller than them and you know and the, the way I behave sometimes because I'm more reserved and shit. So, like, I'm really connected with Jong Ho in that way as well. And the fact that he just has no energy to deal with anyone. He just immediately violence. <laughs> Hong Jun is such a- he's so annoying bro sometimes. I love him. I love when they're annoying though. When I call them annoying, it's a good thing. <laughs> you got abandoned. But you know what I love? The fact that he's like, oh, I want to, I want, I want to help you, Wu Young, because it's fun. He, he's not like, oh, because he's our friend or because I feel sorry for him or anything. He's like, no, because it's fun to create chaos. That's the only reason I want to help him. <laughs> Looks so good here. <laughs> Why does Wu Young look like a father of three that owns a business and he's just like comes home and his kids are too loud and he's like, can you shut up? I'm trying to read this book. I'm trying to read through these documents right now. That's the vibe I'm getting from him in that in that clip. Bro, let my man breathe.
Honestly, free my man from these gremlins. Because he's just trying to chill. He's just trying to sit. And they're just like rubbing up all on him. He's like, he, 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 he. <laughs> if one day he just backhands him out of the way, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm telling you that much. I love how even when someone's being a crackhead, he's elegant about it. You know what I mean? Not no one paying attention. I love it. I love how like even when they're just fucking around, Jong Ho will just come in and seriously just start belting it out. He doesn't give a shit. He, any chance he can take to show his vocals and prove his power, he will take that shit. <laughs> I love how every time, without hesitation, um, Jong Ho is going to attack Hong Jun in any any way he possibly can. Nah, John is having a panic attack. He's like, why are you doing this? Why are you behaving this way? Have some decorum, you guys. <laughs> I've never seen anyone hate affection as much as John Ho does. Honestly, I feel it. Literally, I hate it so much. I hate physical affection. Affection. I can't help myself. Like, if I really need to be physically affectionate, I'll do it. But like... It really makes me uncomfortable. Like, especially if it's just like out of nowhere randomly. Like, I feel like I've got to get in the mood for that. And then you do it. And then it's like, okay, that's done now. I don't have to do that for another three months. Thank you very much. Um, fuck, I love, I love Jong Ho Ro. I love him. He's so funny. And he's so relatable. And he's, honestly, I'm going to, I'm pro he's pro, I don't want to call him my bias yet. Because I haven't gone through enough of their thing. But personality wise, I would say he's my, He's my favorite, I'll say for now. I'm not going to use the term bias just yet, but it. I feel like, I feel like he's going to become my bias, especially in the first album, I, mini album I listened to of, of 80s. His voice is always something that jumps out to me as well, just like performance-wise as well. Um, I don't know, I just love him. He's so funny and he's talented and yeah. Because I feel like when you get into these groups, right? I feel like... um you kind of, even if you don't listen to a lot of their shit, I feel like as you learn their names and as you get into that, like that first like week of getting into a new group, I feel like it, it's already been decided who your bias is. You know what I mean? I feel like you know, but you know, sometimes you don't feel comfortable staying who it is, but it usually turns out to be who you first thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? Like for Stray Kids, I kind of knew on the first two, three videos I watched of them, I knew Bang Chen was probably going to be my bias. But I was like, okay, I'm going to wait a bit and listen to some more stuff. But ultimately, Bang Chen ended up being my bias. So I feel like generally I know who my biases are for each group that I'm listening to. But I don't want to say, oh, he is my bias because it's too early, like with BTS and 80s. Um, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Uh, in... In BTS, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have a bias at all. BTS is one of those groups where I think it, I'm just I'm biased to the whole group. You know what I mean? But ATs, I'm pretty sure Jong Ho is my bias, but I don't know yet. I don't want to make that claim just yet because we still got a lot to experience. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you want more content that is not on YouTube be sure to check out my Patreon because on Patreon, we've got a lot of shit going on. Any videos that you're like, I want you to react to this and this and this, it's probably been reacted to on Patreon most likely because we have over 60 videos on Patreon right now on Stray Kids, BTS, 80s. There's more Stray Kids stuff than BTS and 80s currently, but we still have a lot of content on each group. So if you want extra content there's a lot of extra content there's survival show there's kingdom there's interviews there's you know um 
the drinking show, the Sushita drinking show. We got a bunch of shit going on on Patreon. So if you're intrigued in that type of content, um, then Patreon's a the place to be. We've got two kids room. We've got Wanties. We've got um, Run BTS. We, we've got a lot of shit going on on, um, on Patreon is all I'm saying. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs> the way San is just going, he's trying to get away from Hong Jun. You know what Han looks like? The, you know what Han looks like in this? Han looks like that character in like a K-drama who's like dad is rich. You know what I mean? And he comes to school and he, he starts shit and then he, he becomes like the main antagonist even though he started as a kind of good character. Like that's the vibes I'm getting from him here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's from that's from Skun's family. Remember, they were married, and then Han was cheating on Hyunjin with Lino, and then there was some other shit happening, and it was just a whole it was a whole thing.